All right, we're here at East Parting Youth Football for the NWGYFL football game of the week for the East Parting Raiders and the Hillgrove Hawks as Hillgrove is coming into today's game 8-2. and two, And the East Parting Raiders are coming in 10-0. and 0. It's going to be a good football game. We have for East Parting, the captains will be number 6, Eason. 25 is Underwood. 15 is Herring. And number 12 is Stevens. Make that 72 is uh, Malik Stevens. For the Hillgrove Hawks, we have number three, Patrick Blondell M. Dia. He wears the number three jersey, Andrea Keaton. That's my buddy Andre Keaton's son. He's going to be number two, a captain. Also, we have number one, Jalen Jackson, and number four, one, two, three, and four, and that's Nathaniel Thomas. Jersey one, two, three, and four, the Hillgrove Hawk uh, captains. Looks like Hillgrove may have won the toss, and they're going to defer. And they're trying to decide which goal the East Parting Raiders want to defend. And the East Parting Raiders will be moving from left to right. And the Hillgrove Hawks, of course, going from right to left. And Hillgrove will be receiving the ball to start this game as the 8-2 and two Hillgrove Hawks come in here for the playoff game with the East Parting Raiders who are 10-0. This is 9-year-old football, NWGYFL football game of the week. We hope you enjoy this. It's going to be a good ball game. The coaches for the Hillgrove Hawks will be McMillan, Harrison, Thomas, Love, Tilton, Keaton, and Copeland. And for your East Paulding Raiders, Jones, Waldrop, Derwin, Allen, and Melton. This is going to be a great football game. Kicking off for the East Paulding Raiders will be number 34, Connor Vaughn. And he's got a leg on him, and in the future you'll see him on Friday nights playing some high school football in about another four or five, six years. Keep his name in mind, number 34, Connor Vaughn, also a great little baseball player here in the Pawnee County area. As the Hillgrove Hawks come from Hillgrove High School from the Cobb County area, there's only a few miles down the road, but it's a different county. The Hillgrove Hawks are coming in pretty strong. we got a couple of players to watch on that. Uh, back deep will be number 20, Copeland, for the Hawks. And we are getting set up here for the NWGYFL Football Game of the Week. Brought to you by Brian Kilroy and Associates. This is going to be a good game for uh, the fans as we get disconnected from our video. We'll get you squared away as Brian Kilroy and Associates do what they do best. Hey, we are now joined by Brian Kilroy and Associates. Kickoff is to 23. 23 takes the ball down to, uh, looks like he's still going down there. He's still moving. Missed tackle down to the 40 all the way down to the 33-yard line. Spirited run back <laughs> by number 23 from the Hillgrove Hawks to start this football game. Once again, we are in Dallas, Georgia. He's Paulding, the Boneyard. And number 23 for the Hawks is going to be Travaris Walker. What a return for Travaris Walker as we now have all of the equipment put back together. Brian Kilroy, your PA announcer and your play-by-play -play guy with us here on 278 The Mix and Paulding.tv. Brian Kilroy, has got a great little thing going on here at the East Paulding Raider Dome. Got a first and ten here for the Hillgrove Hawks. All right, Hillgrove breaks the huddle. We're going to be under center. Looks like number 15, make that number two is your quarterback, Andre Keaton. Used to be in the Fair Oaks organization. Andre is a good little ball player. As uh, we have a little movement on the defensive line, and that's going to be an easy five yards for the Hillgrove Hawks. Not sure who they're going to call that on. It looked like could have been a, a potential encroachment there, but they're going to call it encroachment penalty on East Paulding. Call is encroachment on East Paulding. It's going to be five yards. Free five yards to Hillgrove Hawks. Make it first and five. Brian Kilroy is doing double duty today. PA announcing and uh, helping us out on the broadcast for the NWGYFL football game of the week. Keaton, number two, your quarterback, under center. Hillgrove in a wishbone. Ball was given to four. They explode up the pipe. Run looks like it's good for about three yards here. Run up the middle, good for three yards for the Hillgrove Hawks. Should bring up second down and about three. Number 55, Javon Wester had a little shot on him in the backfield and uh, missed his tackle. It's going to be second down and four for the Hillgrove Hawks. Got about uh, about one or two yards on that carry, not much. Slow down in the backfield by the East Paulding Raiders. 
Brian, the sun's kind of playing with us a little bit here, but it'll it'll move in a minute. All right, keeping your quarterback under center. We got the wishbone in the backfield, and the handoff's going to be the number four. Count. It is the four again. Another missed tackle here. It is going to be good for a first down and a uh, spirited run there up for about uh, looks to a total about nine yards there for a Hillgrove first down. And it will be a first down for Hillgrove. That was once again Nathaniel Thomas on the carry. Run off tackle. Spirited run by number four for the Hillgrove Hawks. It is good for in Hillgrove first down. It's going to be first and ten from about the, looks like about the 15-yard line. First and ten. Yeah, they got to get off the field. they got to get off the field right there. Ball snap. Keaton, your quarterback under center. We've got the fullback, two halfbacks in the backfield. Keaton's going to keep it. Roll around the far side, the near side. He hit by a whole bunch of Raiders, Brian. Everybody's out there but the three kids that's not out there. Well, it was a call bootleg run there, but uh, East Paulding read that. Uh, number two, Skylar Kelton. Number six over there on uh, Skylar Mountain. And uh, number six from uh, maybe Jack Easton there uh, for uh, East Paulding. Yeah, Jack's one of the captains. It's going to be loss of a yard, second down and 11. For Hillgrove on the NWGYFL nine-year-old football playoff game of the week. Hillgrove breaks the huddle. Same offensive setup under center. No, we got a shotgun. Now we got all kind of movement. They got me confused. We got a shotgun formation. Number four is now quarterbacking for Hillgrove, Nathaniel Thomas. We got wide outs to the right, one out to the left. And Thomas is going to keep it around the far side. He's going to be hit by a whole bunch of Raiders, including Brian, number 31, Chambliss. Gobbled up by... Akbar Shabazz, number 55. That play is read very well. All right, well. number 31, Chaz Chambliss on the stop. Akbar Shabazz. And Shabazz. Here bringing up third down and about 11 for the Hillgrove Hawks. No gain on that play. Third and 11 as big number 68 for the Hawks breaks the huddle. Dwayne D.W. Richards. As we are set back with our original formation for the Hawks, number two, Andre Keaton. Back up under center there. It is out of wishbone. That ball was to 23. Still rolling down the field. Still running very close to a uh, Hillgrove first down. It's going to be an interesting call here. Yeah, that was number 23, Walkers. He got way down to the almost to the first down right at the 10-yard line. It's going to be fourth down now and about two yards for the Hillgrove Hawks. Number 23 for the Hillgrove Hawks with a very spirited 10-yard run. It's going to bring up a big fourth and one here from about the six-yard line. All right, it's going to be fourth and two for the Hillgrove Hawks as they have a very crucial play right here, Brian, as the uh, East Baltimore Raiders seem to have caught on to what's going on with the offense of the Hawks. Shotgun formation, Andre Keaton, and he's going to have the first down. First down. Good call, uh, Randy Riggs. That is a uh, nice little direct snap to number two. They stack the left side. We're able to punch it in there. I believe they're going to give them the uh, first down. Yes. Yes, they have. They have given them to the yard markers to uh, lay the yard markers down. Direct stat to number two for the Hillgrove Hawks. Good for three yards and a Hillgrove first down. All right, first and goal, Hillgrove inside the 10, about the nine-yard line, right beside the big mud puddle out there. Got a little uh, water leak, it looks like, out there uh, near the uh, five-yard line. Or somebody had to go, one of the two. Under center, Andre Keaton. Number four will go around the far side, Thomas, and he's going to be hitting the backfield, Brian. Another big tackle for a loss by number 55, Akbar Shabazz. He's all over the Hillgrove backfield right now. Hillgrove, Akbar uh, Shabazz, backfield. number 55 for Bring the third down and, East Paulding Raiders. Goal from about the six-yard line. Brian, they call him Deuce. 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 That, that's his nickname, Deuce. I guess because he's the second. Is that right? Second. I had the pleasure of coaching uh, with his, his father. Is that Trace? This season. Or Uno? His speed sweep to the left. And he is 23. It's just hard to tackle right now. A lot of running for about a three-yard gain, it looks like. It's going to bring up third down. 23 on a speed sweep to the left here. Gonna bring All right, it's going to be third, third down and goal. And Looks four. like uh, maybe the ball's on the four, maybe the five. Third First to goal. goal for the Hiram, or make that the Hillgrove Hawks. 
they got the sun playing tricks on us today from the press box. I don't want to double uh, double down on you here while I'm talking, Randy. Is there a way to shut this thing off when I'm having a call from? Uh, you can just maybe pull it up right there. Okay. You're doing good doing double duty though, man. Yeah, well, you want to run the camera too? He's just talking over <laughs> you just now quite a bit. So I realize there's a uh, there's there's half a million folks listening right now, and I don't want to uh, don't want to undermine your, uh, <laughs> your your cinema. Videography. See, Brian, that's why we extend your contract from day to day. Just because, you know, you bring the million folks listening and and um, make things happen for it. We got a timeout on the field. Timeout action on the field as uh, East Potting wants to regroup a little bit. And they are now regrouped and back out there and ready to go. It's going to be third down and goal on the four. Third and goal for Hill Grove on the four. Third and goal for the four. As we are set. So we have a new quarterback. Number 12 now for the Hawks is going to be Cameron Poser. Probably Pouser. As he takes the snap and he's going to throw it. He's got a man open, and it's the wrong guy. It's an interception for East Pauling Raiders. What a stop, Brian, by number 11 for the Raiders. Quarter Waldrop. Number 12, uh, the drop back pass to Chuck. Ball is intercepted in the end zone. It's going to bring the ball back out to the 20 yard line. Ball picked off. Didn't see who made the interception. Number 11. Yeah, that was Corbin Waldrop. With the interception. First down, East Pauling Raiders. What a stop for the Raiders with fourth and goal to go. They came in with their big gun quarterback, the thrower quarterback, and he did a nice throw, but unfortunately it went straight to an East Pauling Raider. Now it's going to be first and ten Raiders on the 20. Got to believe it's an offensive call they'd probably like to have back when you're four yards out, two shots of trying to punch it in up the middle there. Uh, uh, let's hope the uh, Hill Grove Hawks can, uh, can maintain their composure and uh, – I keep a game of this thing. Looks like the quarterback for East Paulding under center, Skylar Melton. We have movement. They're going to get the five yards back that East Paulding gave earlier. I think we have a, a real eager defensive lineman to jump. Yeah, encroachment on the defense, Brian. So East Paulding gave them five and got it right back. Encroachment called on the Hawks. It's going to bring up first down and five for the East Paulding Raiders. All right, first and five on the 25. For the Raiders, big man Tommy Lau, your right guard, a right tackle. One of the biggest kids on the field. I love the boy. He's a good kid. Skylar Melton hands off to number 27 for the Raiders. That's going to be Joseph T. Warren, and he's going to get about four yards on the carry, brought down by a whole bunch of Hawks, including number 60, Brian Stone McKnight. I think they're going to give him a, uh, about two yards on that. 132 down. It's a uh, right up the two hole there, Money Warren. Second I'll down. About a, well, you might be right there, Randy, about a yard and a half here. Uh, also on the stop, Dwayne D.W. Richards, big number 68. Your left guard on defense for the Hillgrove Hawks. We got the NWG YFL football game of the week going on, Brian. Nine-year-old East Paulding Raiders undefeated, 10-0, and and the nine-year-old Hillgrove Hawks, 8-2. and Skylar Melton hands off up the middle. He's going to have a first down. Melton hands Chavez. off to number 55, Deuce. Deuce. Number 55, Deuce. Good for an East Paulding first down. So it'll be first and 10, East Paulding on the 30. About the 29, maybe. Well, it's got to be the 30. That's why it started on the 20. First and 10, East Paulding on the 30. Make it actually the 34, 33. Nice bright lines on the field getting ready for playoff action. Skylar Melton, your quarterback, number two. Shabazz in the backfield, Deuce. And he's going to be end around. Coming around the near side is going to be number 27, Morris. He's breaking tackles right and left, and he's going to be gone. Morris has got some things happening for him right here. And it looks like Morris is going to be going all the way for East Paulding. Touchdown. we got a flag in the backfield here. If it does not negate a very, very spirited 65-yard run here for Joe Warren. All right, Warren, 65-yard touchdown run, but it's coming back. We got a block in the back, a holding. In the back, spot foul at the 39-yard line. And uh, just like that, the East Pauling Raiders showed the Hillgrove Hawks that they can't explode and not to take them too lightly right now. 
going to negate a huge run here for uh, Joe Money Warren. One of many to come today. <laughs> All right, number 27, Warren, a 65-yard touchdown run. It comes back, and it's going to bring back another 15 yards. So a 65-yard run is going to be a 75-yard loss. So it was interesting to watch there as, uh, as the Hillgrove uh, defenders kind of had uh, had their hands on him, and then it just slowly bounced off. And uh, once once it took place, it was uh, he uh, he clearly was the fastest uh, nine year old on the football field. Well, it's going to be first and fifteen now for the Raiders. We have undefeated East Spalding Raiders and eight and two Hillgrove Hawks. As the moms are on their feet, hollering, "Do it again, baby!" Shabazz Deuce in the backfield. We got Kyler Melton or Skyler Melton, your quarterback, under center. And the handoff's going to go another end around the other way this time, Brian. Mario Underwood, who is a very fast little runner. Number 25 is going to be brought down on a nice tackle by number 20. That's going to be good for about seven yards here. Mario Underwood had the pleasure of bringing him down. Uh, he played with us down at the Georgia Dome and ran two touchdowns. Is that right? For us. For the Falcons? For the uh, for the Raiders, actually playing the uh, Marietta Blue Devils. So uh, omari has got a tremendous amount of speed. Very nice little four-back weapon for the nine-year-old uh, East Paulding team. And number 20, Jadon Copeland on the stop for the Hillgrove Hawks. It's going to be second down now, five, as they gain ten on that play. Handoff goes to Deuce up the middle, and he's got him a hole, and he's going to be hit again in the backfield for the Hillgrove Hawks and brought down one more time, Brian, by number 20, Copeland. And that will be enough for an East Paulding Raider first down. First down, Raiders. It's going to be a uh, number 55 deuce. Good for seven yards up the middle deuce. and another East Paulding first down. It's going to be first and ten Raiders on the 43. As the Raiders break the huddle, they seem to be showing right now they can move the ball on this Hillgrove defense. Number two, Skylar Melton, your quarterback under center. We got Deuce, 55 in the backfield by himself. Shabazz, a real name, going to be handoff to number 27, Warren. Warren comes around the near side. He's finding some holes, Brian, and he's still going. Same play as before, and he's going all the way, Brian, for a East Paulding Raider touchdown. And no flags on this play, Brian. Well, good news is we got no flags, but a pink uh, pink towel down there at the 50-yard line, and they run the exact same play, and we get the exact same result. Touchdown, number 27, Joe Money Warren. All right, big money Warren on the play. He got himself another 60-yard uh, we'll give him a 60-yard touchdown run on that one, Brian. He's got a 60 and a 65-yarder right now. The 65-yarder got called back. But Joe Money means money right now for the East Paulding Raiders. Somebody's get him a contract. He's got his agent here with him. His mama's already up here with a contract. Maybe that's her coaching contract. As we are getting set for the extra point, Skylar Melton, your quarterback under center, Brian. And he's going to throw it and go for two. He rolls out to the right. He throws it, and it is complete. Big number 25 for the East Paulding Raider on a two-point conversion, and that will be Underwood for the Raiders. rollout pass by number two, Skylar Melton, to a wide-open number 25, Omari Underwood. Two-point conversion attempt is good. We got an 8 nothing ball game here. East Paulding Raider, nine-year-old, at the Boneyard. Well, the Boneyard, speaking of the Boneyard, as will be uh, the high school Boneyard next week will be kicking with the undefeated East Paulding Raider football and the undefeated Altoona Buccaneers football. It's going to be a nice game next week as we start the high school playoffs here. It's going to be a great game to come and watch. So if anybody wants to come out and see some great football, this will be your chance next week to check it out. The East Paulding Raiders and the Altoona Buccaneers playing undefeated in the Boneyard. All right, this will be the second kickoff that we see for the Hillgrove Hawks receiving team as Connor Vaughn, the athlete, is going to be kicking off for the Raiders. It looks like he may be doing an onside kick, Brian. And I bet it's going to come to 19 Parker or 15 Love. And we're going to see right here the whistle blew, and here comes Connor Vaughn. And it comes to the front man, number 60, and he got it, ran about a yard, and downed it. Number 60 for the Hillgrove Hawks, Stone McKnight. Onside kick attempt picked up by number 60, Hillgrove Hawks. It's going to be first and 10, Hillgrove at the 48-yard line of East Baldwin. 
Well, it's going to be pretty crucial now for Hillgrove to come back and answer this. You know, Hillgrove got down to the four-yard line and failed to score on an interception pass play on fourth and down for the Hawks, a fourth and goal for the Hawks, and the East Paulding intercepted in the end zone, marched 80 yards down the field, and lead the game now 8 to nothing. As Hillgrove is in shotgun formation, your quarterback for the Hawks is number four, Nathaniel Thomas. He got dupes, quadruples out to the right. We got McKnight way out here to the left, and we got movement. Everybody's got yellow flags, Brian. So three flags on there and a uh, false start call. False start call on the offense. It's going to be a five-yard penalty. Take them back to about the 47 now of Hillgrove, bringing up first and 15. All right, so they're going to back it up on the Hawks, first and 15 now for the Hawks on the 46-yard line. Give them the 47. It looks like uh, a good coach like Jonathan Jones can probably pick up when a certain quarterback comes in that certain things are going to do. We've had four different quarterbacks now here for Hillgrove. Right now we have Andre Keaton. He's a good kid. I know him. I like him. Good athlete. Now they're going to shift. And we have a shotgun formation. And Keaton's going to keep the ball, and he's going to go nowhere. Keaton is hit by number two for the Raiders, Brian. Andre Keaton hit by Skylar Melton and dropped. Tackle made by number two, Skylar Melton. Read very well for maybe maybe a gain of, of one inch. Two read the plays. Outside linebacker came shooting up the gap, stopping Hillgrove in its tracks. Going to bring up second down and 14 and 10 inches. All right, second down, 14 and 10 inches for the Hawks. Ball's on the 47-yard line, 47 and 1-inch line. As Hillgrove breaks the huddle for the NWGYFL football game of the week, number two, Andre Keaton. Andres, your quarterback. He's going to hand off to number 20, Copeland, going around the far side, end around. He's going to break one tackle, and he got caught for holding. And Copeland's going, and he's putting some moves on people, and he's breaking tackles. And finally brought down Brian by big number 27. That's Warren. Also number two, Melton. And number 11 for the East Paulding Raiders will be Waldrop. But don't worry about it. It's coming back. Big exciting run for number 20 and the Hillgrove Hawks. Unfortunately negated by a tight end uh, t- hold there on the defensive end. It's going to bring it back 10 yards. going to make a very, uh, very long second down and 20 yards or so. 25 yards. 25 yards and 10 inches. All right. It's going to be second down and 25 and 10 inches to go for the Hillgrove Hawks. That was a nice run by number 20 Copeland around the far side on the end around. He got a lot of yardage, but it's got called back. Andres Keaton, under center, your quarterback, going back to the wishbone. Hand off to number 23 for Hillgrove, and that's going to be Travaris Walker. And he don't get anywhere, Brian. He's brought down by a big number, 88, for the Raiders. Bam, bam. B. Allen in on that stop for the Raiders, Brian. Big bam, bam. Brian, that'll be the end of the first quarter. That is going to bring a end to the first quarter with East Paulding nine-year-old Raiders up 8-0. That ball, the last little play there was read very well by a swarming East Paulding defense. Going to bring up a third and 24 for the Hillgrove Hawks. In the Hillgrove Hawks side of the uh, ball field, 8 nothing here at the Boneyard. Yep, 8 to nothing. these Spalding Raiders as we start the second quarter. It looks like uh, we have a pretty good crowd on hand today. We've got a couple hundred people for the Hillgrove Hawks, and we've got about 500 people on the sidelines for the East Spalding Raiders for this playoff game for the NWGYFL Round 2 nine-year-old playoff. The undefeated East Spalding Raiders following in the footsteps of the undefeated East Spalding Raider high school team against the Hillgrove Hawks coming in today at 8 and 2. So we have a 10 and 0 and 8 and 2 team going in for the second round of the playoff, Brian. The winner plays and the loser goes home. Yeah, that's exciting this uh this potential uh, win by East is setting up a uh, very very big showdown next weekend uh to be determined uh by a coin flip where they play. 
And that game will be against the winner of today's game, which is Hiram. Hiram is playing. Uh, yeah, he, he he's told me uh, South, South Cherokee. South Cherokee. Yeah, Hiram Hornets representing Hiram High School and the South Cherokee Redskins out of Cherokee County come into town, and they will uh, be playing today. That game will be played at Hiram Hornets Field, probably about seven miles, eight miles from here. If you're in traffic, it might be 30 miles. As we have more Hiram Hornets coming to scout this game today, it's going to be a big gate for the East Spartan Raiders from the Hiram Hornets. Andres Keaton traded the quarterback position to number four. It's another uh, Nathaniel shift Thomas in their offense here as they go spread wide, right on this one. Everybody's out to the right side. Nobody's fooled, and we're going to be brought down for a loss. Big hit, Brian bit of a gimmick offense there and uh, really uh, fairly easy to read there is uh, number four ran sideways for about three uh, three tackle made Nathaniel Thomas CJ the ball carrier McGarity with a big and McGarity hit big loss. number 20 year uh, didn't get fooled by anybody he came in there and took care of business and put the Hillgrove Hawks back for another loss it's fourth down and forever for the Hillgrove Hawks, as we may see our first punt for this afternoon. Punting number 11, Garner. He's going to fake it, and he's going to run it. Garner's going around the far side. He don't have a whole lot of room, but he's on the move. And all he's got to do is get put out of bounds, uh -oh. but he's I think we have a face roping. mask. He is still running down the field. I do believe I saw a face mask in there. You and 20 officials saw that, Brian. He had a uh, little miscue on the snap, resulting in number 11 with a long scramble. We got flags on the play here. It looks like they're talking to the East Pauling Raiders, so it's going to be against Hillgrove. It will go against Hillgrove. It's fourth down. It was either a busted play or a fake punt. I'm not sure what happened there, but it's going to go against Hillgrove, and that's going to be very good fielding position for the East Pauling Raiders, Brian. It's going to be a 10-yarder from the flag, I believe. I'm not sure which flag they're going to go they're from. Going to play it over again here. I believe they're going to decline the penalty. It makes sense. Well, he wants the captain of the black team to come out there, so they have some decisions to make. You can take the ball because it was not a first down right there. You can make them do it again. And it looks like we're going to decline that. If you're a Raider fan, they're going to decline it and take the ball from the flag. Yeah, it was a block in the back. It's going to be... A Declined by the Raiders, and they will get possession of the ball where the flag is, and that's going to be on the 37-yard line. So it's going to be first to 10 now, Raiders on the 37. So a long scramble by number 11 on the Hillgrove Hawks, negated by a block and a back penalty, resulting in a first down for East Paulding at the 36-yard line, it looks like. It's going to be 30, 30, first down and 10 for the 36 All right, we got to change the football. We got the ball boy coming in saying, hold on there, White Cat. We got the right football right here. As we get set, Skylar Melton, number two, your quarterback. Jones, the center. Jet Jones, big kid. He's growing up to be a big kid. Jet Jones, his uncle's the head football coach at North Pauline High School. Scott Jones does a great job with that program. As the official is having a visit from the sideline coach onto the field. Not sure if he was invited out there, if he just walked out there on his own, but they told him, go back to your spot and we'll take care of this game. All right. We got uh, Chavez Deuce, 55, in the backfield for the Raiders. We got uh, wide out to the left. Melton's going to hand it off to Deuce up the middle. Deuce up the middle. Another big run, and he's hard to tackle. That's going to be, uh, get very close to a first down. Another very strong run up the middle by number 55, Akbar Shabazz. Good for nine yards. Going to bring up second and short here, East Paulding Raiders. Yep, we'll give them second down and a yard. The Raiders moving the ball fairly easily so far in the ball game. East Paulding Raiders against the Hillgrove Hawks. Right now it's eight to nothing in the second quarter, early in the second quarter. East Paulding over the uh, Hillgrove Hawks right now. As we break the huddle and get set under center, we got Skylar Melton, number two. 
Jet Jones, your center, big man out there. Handoff's going to be coming up to number 25, Underwood. Underwood's broken two tackles, and he's still going. Nine-year-old football, folks, at his best. We got a where-you-going WWE-style tackle for the Hillgrove Hawks. That's number 23 for the Hawks. Just grabbed him by the head and threw him down, Travaris Walker. That run for uh, good for six yards by number 25, Omari Underwood. It is going to be a first down, he's Paulding Raiders. Here at the Boneyard. All right, first and goal on the 20, just inside the 20, maybe the 19. These Paulding is moving the ball right now with not too much effort. Uh, their plays seem to be working. They come together as a team and make it look easy. Hillgrove Hawks coming into this game 8-2. and two. East Balding Raiders coming into the game 10-0. and 0. It's the playoff game, second round. Melton under center, your quarterback, and he's going to hand off to Shabazz again up the middle, and he might be going all the way this time, Brian. There he goes, and he is finally brought down by the Hawks. Big number 32 is going to be Andrew Worthy. Akbar Shabazz with a 12-yard run, giving him 56 yards today. Another East Paulding first down and goal. All right, first and goal for the Raiders, and that ball is now going to be resting on the nine-yard line. First and goal, Melton under center. Shabazz in the backfield all by himself. Melton keeps it up the middle, and he's hit hard by a hawk. Come flying in out of nowhere, Brian. It is a uh, quarterback keep good for about four yards. Melting up the uh, up the pipe there for good for about three or four yards. Going to bring up second and goal from about the five-yard line. All right, second down and goal to go for the Raiders. As uh, they look on, they check the wristbands. They're all set. This is very well executed offense on both sides of the ball. Hillgrove showing a much more sophisticated offense, but East Paulding showing a much more what word am I looking for, Brian? A much more productive offense. Hand off to 21, and he's going to be in for the touchdown, I do believe. And no, he stopped. Number 21 for the Raiders, Haley. They call him Trey. Well, they are uh, they are screaming over on the Hillgrove side that that ball was out of number. I believe it's Trey, number 21 hand there. But they're going to call it down, ruled down on contact. It's going to be third and uh, goal from about the one-yard line. Third and goal, goal for the one-yard line carry by number 21, Trey. All right, East Paulding breaks the huddle. Hard to see this uh, this going anywhere but the end zone here. Yeah, you, another quarterback keeper, Sneak ought to get this. They got it doubled up there on the front line. Melton's going to hand off to big number 34, Connor Vaughn, the athlete guy, the big, huge guy. Connor Vaughn is an athlete, and he's in. He reminds me of a young Kyler Neal. Kyler Neal, of course, plays for East Paulding High School. And he just as soon run over you then to look at you. Carry up the middle by number 34, Connor Vaughn, for another East Paulding touchdown. All right, we're going to see here if the Raiders go for two. Right now it's 14 to nothing. Raiders over the Hillgrove Hawks. They may go for one. If they uh, throw the ball, of course, it'll be two. If they run the ball in, it will be a one-point conversion. All right, here we go. East Paulding Raiders getting set. Melton, your quarterback. We got two wide outs to the right. Man in motion left, and here is the handoff to big number 27, Warren, and he's going to be in for the extra point, and that will make your score. East Paulding Raiders 15, and the Hillgrove Hawks 0. East Paulding handoff to number 27, Joe Money Warren, up the middle for three yards. Good for a one-point conversion. Going to give your score 15, East Paulding 0, Hawks, here at the Boneyard. Well, we're getting set now for the first kickoff or second kickoff of the day for the East Paulding Raiders. Connor Vaughn, the guy that got the touchdown, will be kicking off, and he is a excellent kicker. Big fullback. You give him the ball and just say go, and he goes, yes, sir. Here I go. Also a great baseball player, Brian. I don't know if you've had a chance to watch him play baseball, but he's a pretty good ball player, pretty good athlete in general. All right, looks like Connor's going to kick the ball to this side. This time it might be going to Parker. Number 19, we also have on this side of their line, number 60, Stone McKnight. Stone got it last time, did a great job, one or two yards, and then fell on it. We're just going to focus in on this side of the line. I think that's where the ball is going to go there. Heavy on the right side of the line for Hillgrove as Connor Vaughn gets set to kick. And the whistle has blown, and here's the kick. 
not going to go 10 yards. It actually is going to go backwards. Well, that is a uh, an interesting, uh, interesting. Well, the uh, kick, onside kick attempt, uh, unsuccessful. Good for a, good for. Uh, <laughs> that ball got first about and, first and ten for the Hillgrove Hawks at the 39-yard line of East Balding. It was a pretty nice onside kick, but it took a Hillgrove roll and went back past where they kicked it from. I believe it had something to do with the. Had something to do with the sun, maybe? I maybe believe the, it, yeah. the equator? I believe it could have been the sun. We'll blame it on the sun anyway. That's what they... Blame it on a... That's what the... Autumn equinox? Well, the global warming, I think, took over on that. All right, shotgun formation for the Hillgrove Hawks, number two. Andre's Keaton, your quarterback, and he's going to take oh, off around the far side. He's trying to find room. Now he's going to throw the ball. Got a man and almost intercepted once again, Brian. By big number 15 for the East Paulding Raiders on top of that, Dylan Herring. Pass uh, pass attempt by two Keaton. Looked like he uh, kind of audible there. Went for the uh, short pass. Broken up by number 15, Dylan Herring. Dylan was in the right place at the right time. As we are doing the NWGYFL football game of the week. Playoff game, round two. 10-0 East Paulding Raiders and the 8-2 Hillgrove Hawks. Nine-year-old football from Dallas, Georgia. You want to Google it, 30157 is our zip code. Keaton, your quarterback, under center, wishbone formation. Got the fullback and the two halfbacks. Kind of confusing this year. Oh, we got movement. Number four, Thomas on the Hillgrove Hawks. Got a little early start, Brian. Early movement there. Once again, we have a false start penalty on the Hawks. Going to uh, negate the onside kick gain and uh, <laughs> take it back to first and 15 here, for, second and 15 for the Hillgrove Hawks. All right, second down and double chains, double sticks for the Hawks. Second down and 15. As the big man, number 68 for the Hawks, breaks the huddle, Richards, your center, under center. We got number two, Andres Keaton. Andres Keaton's a great athlete. He can make something happen. We need to keep an eye on him. And he's going to hand off on the end around to Copeland. Copeland cuts up the middle and then cuts back out and up the middle again. And Copeland's got room. And he is finally, Brian, brought down by the East Parting Raiders on a touchdown saving tackle. I think one time you said decleated. And we'll get this little guy's number here in just a second. Looks well, like a spirited run by number 20, Copeland. Good for about 11 yards. And then the woodshed uh, came crashing down. Number 27, Joe Money Warren, came in there and hit hard. We have a third and eight. Third and eight for the Hillgrove Hawks, Joe Money. Joe Money Warren had a 65-yard touchdown run. I believe he was the one that got it called back. As we have third and eight for the Hawks on the NWGYFL Game of the Week. I'd like to welcome Brent up to the press box today. Big number four is going to get the handoff on an end around. Broke one tackle. He broke two tackles, and then that's about it for him. I'll tell you, there's very, very little Hillgrove looks that they can do right now. As uh, East Paul has made all the right adjustments, and they are just uh, they are not having a lot of a lot of positive gains here. Tackle made by a host of East Paul and Raiders going to bring up fourth down and uh, about ten here. Initial uh, contact made by 31 Chambliss. Swarmed by a bunch of East Paulding Raiders here. It's going to bring up fourth down and ten somewhat late here in the second quarter. <laughs> What's the matter, Brian? You can't read the scoreboard? I can't read the scoreboard from, uh, <laughs> from this vantage point. We should have had him put it facing us. We could have put graphics on there. A lot of speculation on Brant Greaswich where he's uh, where he's headed next year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of talk, a lot of talk. Yeah. He's uh, considering a, uh, his own baseball program. How about call that? Call it Greaswich Baseball. We'll talk to him in a little bit. We'll find talk out to him in a little guy. bit. Apparently, uh, he has said his son is uh, is one of the best baseball players in the county. That is a drop back pass by number twelve. He decides to keep. It looks like a uh, he's Paulding had read the read the, read the route very well, forcing twelve to keep it. He takes the ball up for about six yards on fourth down, and it's going to be a first down. He's Paulding Raiders fourth down uh, conversion. Unsuccessful. It's twelve. Uh, he's Paulding secondary covered the uh, pass route very well. 12 forced to run, gain of about five yards. Ball turned to run downs. East Paulding ball, 35 yard lines. 
here at the Boneyard. Well, this game's been playing now for 39 minutes and 52 seconds, and it seems like East Paulding has had the ball for fairly most of the game. Got 3.23 left here in the second quarter here as East Paulding takes their third shot here at offense. All right, your big man center, Jet Jones, under center. Looks like we have number seven this time, Morris, under center for the Raiders, and he's going to hand off to the second man through, number 25, Underwood. He's got room. He's putting moves on everybody, Brian. Underwood finally brought down by number 32 for the Hillgrove Hawks, and that tackle is going to be Andrew Worthy. Number 25, Amari Underwood, huge run up the pipe, right off the tackle, 16 yards, good for a East Paulding first down. That's going to give Amari 34 yards on the day so far. A lot of people come into this game thinking if you stop number 27, you can win the game. But like that, when they stop number 27, they use other weapons. So there's a lot of weapons on this East Paulding team. It's going to be first and 10 right on the 50 for the Raiders. Morris, your quarterback. He's going to hand off to... 27 Warren Morris. again going around the far side of the end around on Morris. He's got plenty of room and he's there he goes and again. he's going to be gone. Morris is cutting in, cutting out, cutting in, cutting out, running straight. And it will be a 50 yard touchdown run for Morris and no flags, Brian. Number seven, Miles Morris, that quarterback right there with a nice fake counter. Hand off to number 27, Joe Money Warren and a 54 yard East Paulding Raider touchdown. That's going to give us 213 yards rushing so far for the East Paulding Raiders here in the first half. Of course, we have unofficial stats. It's all, it's all Both of the 700-plus fans in the ballpark are on their feet screaming and hollering today. i got to be honest with you. It looks more, a little more like 7,000 fans to me there, Randy. Yeah, well, we got two or 3,000 on the Hillgrove side, and we got two or three... Uh, thousand on the east potting side so we will well brian you can go through and count heads if you like that'd be awesome tell you the uh, pass attempt over there by uh miles morris to 27 more extra point attempt uh nice nice throw uh nice attempt and catch there by East Paulding uh, raiders it's unsuccessful it's going to give us a 21 nothing here 21 ball 21 nothing ball game a little less than three minutes to go here in the second quarter it's a pretty good ball game once again we're telling you the uh the records of these two because it's pretty crucial. The winner stays and the loser goes home. Well, it's all leading up to a huge game here right after this one between two nine-year-old teams right here from East Paulding. And the uh, winner of that game goes on to play in the Super Bowl. Uh, should be a uh, should be a spirited game between East Paulding A and B team. East Paulding B uh, really, uh, really took it two-way there in the second half of that first game. And uh, they did not have an answer for that stud running back the uh, East Paulding B team. So how did they decide who was going to be the home team? Uh, head-to-head record. All righty. All right, Connor Vaughn going to kick again for the East Paulding Raiders. Connor Vaughn's got a lot of work done today on kicking and running in for a touchdown from the four. Connor Vaughn is the man for the kick. Looks like he might be kicking. Actually, it's going to be number eight this time kicking off for the Raiders. And he kicks to the second row, and second row's got the ball, and he's going with it. Number 11, and i got to get around this pole here. Somebody built this press box and put a pole right in front of us. Number 11 for the Hillgrove Hawks on the on the return. Got about a 20-yard return for the Hawks, and that's going to be Corbin Waldrop. No, I take Outside that back. Outside kick attempt is returned uh, 21 yards by the Hillgrove Hawks. Tackle made by 31 Shambliss. That's Jawan Garner. Number 11 for the Hawks. On the turn. 22-yard return. It's going to bring up first down and 10 from about the 33-yard line. First and 10 Hillgrove as the tee comes flying off the field. Almost hit Coach right square in the face. Got to be somewhere around two minutes to go here. Almost halftime. Got a good game. East Paulding Raiders 21 to Hillgrove Hawks 0. Hillgrove needs to answer something right here on this drive. No more three and outs or don't turn it over on downs. The last two possessions they've had four and out. Number two, shotgun formation, Keaton. Your quarterback kicks up. Number 23, Walter, Walker in motion, and Walker gets the football around the far side. Walker's breaking a few tackles and finally brought down by the ankles by number two, Skylar Melton. And, uh, Brian, he got about uh, about seven yards on that play. It's going to be second down and, and, uh, second down and three. Run by number 23 for the Hawks. Good for seven yards. Going to bring up second down and three. Tackle made by number two, Skylar Melton. 
Dude, that is a, uh, I'll tell you right now, uh, Hillgrove has shown success here all day running this, this these these types of plays. Uh, I, I think when they sh they switched to some of the gimmick stuff, it uh, it's 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 not worked out well. That is a up the cut, nice nice uh, draw call there. Seventeen with the ball, good for about two yards, I guess. We'd like to welcome the East Paulding Yellow Jacket. Yeah, good for about two two uh, two yards there. Good for uh, going to bring up third and one. Going to bring up third and one. Draw play to seventeen. Good for two yards. Third and one here uh, late in the second quarter. All right, we got about a minute or so before halftime as we are having ourselves a pretty good nine-year-old football. Minute and a half left in the second half, the first half, second quarter. As we have a new quarterback now for the Hillgrove Hawks, shotgun formation. We have number twelve, Cameron Pouser. He's the passing quarterback, so I would expect to see a pass. And there it is, a screen pass to number eleven. Number eleven has got some room, and then shut down quick by number eleven for the East Paulding Raiders. Shut him down, Brian. Tackle uh, number 12 throws a screen pass to number 11 and a nice open field tackle made by Corbin Waldron, number 11. Juwan Garner with the completion there ran up and uh, met head on by number 11. Waldrop, nice open field tackle. Saves a uh, really a loss of about two yards there. It's going to bring up fourth and two. All right, fourth and two for the Hillgrove Hawks and that's going to be resting on the 27-yard line as Hillgrove needs to answer to the three touchdowns that East Paulding has put up here. You don't want this game to get away from you. Although in this league, in this age, you can get scored on quick. Number two, Andre Skeeton, your quarterback. We got dupes to the right, trips to the left, 23 in motion left. That's going to be Ooh, a bad a snap. snap timing, and it's going to be picked up by yes. number 11, and he's going nowhere, Garner. A little miscue on a snap there, resulting in a uh, loss of about five yards. Going to bring up first down and ten for the East Paulding 9 year olds About a minute 15, minute seven, 11 seconds? Seven seconds left. Looking for looking for a uh, time keep score. We got how many seconds? Seven seconds. Seven seconds. Seven seconds left here. So we have seven seconds left in the first half. That's the <laughs> third. Just ran. Fourth and out. For the Hillgrove Hawks, fourth down conversions have been unsuccessful for the Hawks. Uh, maybe four fourth down conversions, and East Parting Raider once again takes over on downs. The ball is going to be on the. I got to be honest. I think you just said unsuccessful. Did I? I believe you did. I might have this late. Is that a new word? I ain't even been asleep yet. I think it is. Unsuccessful. We have. Uh, That's my slang. Joe Money at quarterback. He hums the ball deep. My goodness, about 26 yards. Morris with the pass. It is incomplete. I'm sorry, Morris. I said Warren with the pass. I think that ball was almost to Kennesaw Mountain. It was thrown a good 23 yards. It's going to give them uh, ball is incomplete. Pass is incomplete, so it allows them to uh, get a uh, – probably get one more in here. See if they end this one. Uh, send this one down to the end zone. We've got about two seconds left before halftime. As we have Morris back again. That's not Morris. Morris is a Oh, my bad, man. That's right Joseph. Now. Joseph Warren back there. And he's going to keep the ball, and he's going to run by himself. He's going to get it all on his own. He stiffs arm one guy, and he grabs the arm and brings him down. He breaks that tackle and then grabs him and rides him for another yard or two. And that will be the end of the first half, Brian. Had a few too many uh, East Paulding Raiders spectators there on that run. Need to do a little lead blocking. Uh, nevertheless, Warren runs for 11 yards, 11 more yards, adding to his total of 100 and 64 yards on the day in the first half. It's going to bring up 21 nothing here. 21-0. to zero. East Paulding at the Boneyard. Well, Brian, that's the best thing about being in a, a player on a playoff team is you always have front row seats and free tickets. So a couple guys took advantage of that this time and wanted to watch the play develop. But we're going to take a break, Brian. We'll be back after halftime. I might not. All right, we're back for the second half of the NWG YFL football game of the week. The East Paulding Raiders and the Hillgrove Hawks. Raiders are undefeated. 
Ten and zero, and the Hillgrove Hawks are eight and two, and the Raiders lead the game right now, twenty-one to nothing. Here's the kick for the Hillgrove Hawks, picked up by number twenty-five Underwood. Bobbled it, kicked it, running. Look, picked it up, and now he's going to be hit by number twenty-three for the Hawks. That's going to be Travaris Walker. Nice stop by Walker, also in there with number twelve Palsy. As the East Paulding Raiders now will take first and ten on the thirty-six yard line, thirty-five yard line, first and ten for the Raiders. Been a very good game offensively for the East Paulding Raiders. The Hillgrove Hawks have not been able to stop the Raiders quite yet. Looking to do that in this half of the ball game. 21 to nothing, East Paulding over Hillgrove. Jet Jones, your center. Skylar Melton, under center. We got one man in the back of the field, 55 Shabazz. He gets the ball. Deuce up the middle, and he's going to get himself about six yards, and that'll be... Second down now and four for the East Balding Raiders, brought down by number one for the Hillgrove Hawks. Also in on that stop will be number two. So one and two doing a little teamwork in there. Jalen Jackson and Andres Keaton stopping it for the Hillgrove Hawks. It's going to be second down and six. 21 to nothing, second round of the playoffs. East Balding Raiders over the Hillgrove Hawks. Winner stays and plays. The losers go home today. Skylar Melton, your quarterback, Baz in the backfield, Shabazz in the backfield by himself. We got encroachment on the defense, and that'll be another East Paulding Raider easy five yards, and it will be now second down and two. Second two for the Raiders. Big man, number 62, Tommy Lau, your right tackle, handles his uh, opponent fairly easily. Tommy Lau's a great kid. Known him for a while, loved the kid, great ball player. Number two, Skylar Melton under center, Shabazz Deuce in the backfield. He's going to get the ball up the middle. Deuce finds the hole and takes off, and Deuce finally brought down by big number two, Andres Keaton, for the Hillgrove Hawks. But that will be a East Parting Raider first down on the 49-yard line. First to 10, East Parting, leading the game 21 to nothing. East Party comes into this game with a record of 10 and 0, and Hillgrove comes in with a record of 8 and 2 in the nine-year-old NWG YFL football game of the week, round two of the playoffs. On the way to the Super Bowl, Melton under center. He's going to hand off to number 27 Warren. 27 comes around the near side. Warren's got some room, and he's finally brought down by number 11 and number four for the Hillgrove Hawks, Thomas and Garner. It's going to be second down now and nine. Second and nine for the East Balding Raiders. Ball's on the 49-yard line. Jeff Harper, our cameraman for the day. Looks like he's been going in the tannin salon. <laughs> All right. Second down and nine for the East Parting Raiders. Skylar Melton under center. That's Jet Jones, your center. Snaps the ball, handoff, keep going around the far side. End around Underwood. Underwood breaks one tackle, breaks two, three, and brought down by the fourth man to finally hit him. And we have a flag on the play. It looks like some kind of stopping on the player while he's on the ground. Number 23 on the tackle for the Hillgrove Hawks, Travaris Walker. And we're going to have, it looks like, to be a personal foul on the Hawks is what I'm thinking the call may be. But I could be wrong here. The ball was down on the 44-yard line, but it's going to be marked off from the flag, and the official call is going to be from the white cap. We had a dead ball foul, personal foul on the white team. That's going to be a 10-yarder. So we're going to get an additional 10 yards on the mark off for the ball. Actually, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty for the Hillgrove Hawks, they did not want to see that, but uh, that's how you play football. You do good and you do bad. NWGYFL football game of the week. Jet Jones, your center, breaks the huddle. First down, East Paulding. The ball's on the 30. Jet Jones, your center. Skylar Melton, under center. In the backfield, we got Deuce, 55. Shabazz, the second. That's where he gets his name, Deuce. Shabazz the second, Akbar Shabazz. 
And the handoff goes to Underwood around the far side. Underwood's brought down by big number 22. Came off that line with authority, Jordan McCabe. Jordan McCabe came from nowhere and did a WWE DDT type tackle. Surprised that Underwood's still not getting grass out of his face mask. It's going to be second down. We lost a little bit of yardage on that play if you're an East Paulding fan. It's going to be second down and 11. Skylar Melton, your quarterback under Jet Jones, the center. Deuce, 55, Shabazz in the backfield by himself. Melton keeps it, rolls out in the passer. He's got a man open, overthrows it, intercepted for the Hillgrove Hawks. Big number 23 for the Hawks. Big 23 for the Hawks is going. He's still got room. And the Hillgrove Hawks, that's Walker, finally brought down by Underwood, also brought down by Warren. And Shabazz Deuce came back there and made the stop on that play. And big man Eason. It took five East Pauling Raiders to bring him down. He was cutting and turning and twisting and almost took that for a pick six. And two of those six East Pauling Raiders caught up with him. So that's going to be the first interception of the game for the Hillgrove Hawks. And it will be first and ten Hillgrove. And that ball looks like it's going to be on the 20, maybe the 35-yard line, 34-yard line. First and ten for the Hawks. That's the... Best play they've had all day long. Other than the opening 80-yard drive that resulted in an East Paulding interception in the end zone. So East Paulding marched down the field 80 yards and scored. All right, Andres Keaton, your quarterback under center. We got one man in the backfield, two wide outs to the each side. Here goes number 20, Copeland. He cuts up the middle from an end around, and he cuts right into big number 34, Connor Vaughn. Put him back on the ground. Where you going, man? Chavez on the stop also for these party Raiders, but Connor Vaughn read that play and put a stop to it as fast as you can blink your eye. Second down and 14 now for Hillgrove. Connor Vaughn came up and stopped that play before it even got developed good. Andres Keaton, I like this kid. He's a good ball player. I've known him for a while, Dad, Andre Keaton. Comes from uh, Fair Oaks Lobos, now playing for the Hillgrove Hawks. Hand off to Copeland. Once again, Connor Vaughn, where are you going, man? Connor Vaughn wraps him up and finally brought down by number one for the Raiders. He got in there and finished up what Connor Vaughn started, Justin Eisler. And uh, just like that, we've had two run plays for a loss of yardage for the Hillgrove Hawks. They got a little momentum going, and it's come to an end by Connor Vaughn. Big number 34 for the Raiders. Great ball player. They kind of answers the question on why Hillgrove has been running to the left side of the ball all day. And I wouldn't be surprised if they don't start that trend again here because Connor Vaughn has shut them down on two consecutive plays as they got that crazy shift going on. It's a very well organized shift. We got five men out to the left. I think it's going to be a sweep from Keaton, and it is. He's going to come out here left handed passer. He's hit number 60. And he is met right there by Skylar Melton and brought down about a two-more-yard loss on that play, maybe three-yard loss. And the East Pauling Raiders are reading this offense like they developed it. Between Connor Vaughn and Melton, they've lost about 15 yards in the last three plays. So now we have another situation, a fourth down for the Hillgrove Hawks, and they've come to a brick wall on these East Pauling Raiders. And it looks like the punt team's coming on. The last time they tried to punt, it wasn't very successful. Number 11 is the kicker for Hillgrove, Garner. Keep in mind he can also run the football. Last time he kept it, tried to run, but he had just too many yards to get and didn't quite get it. So we have back deep for East Pauling Raiders Warren. Joseph T. Warren back deep. Here's the snap. It's going to be a running pass play. He's surrounded by number 21, Hales. Also right there, Connor Vaughn. Make sure nothing happened. You got, like, teamwork going on there. Connor Vaughn sets them up, and then the other guys come in and make some, uh, makes the stop down to the ground. But once Connor gets his arms around you, he don't go anywhere. and He just stands there and waits for somebody to come and hit him. All right, the ball goes over on downs. East Pauling Raiders first and 10 on the forty-seven. 
First and ten on the East Paulding 47. East Paulding comes into the game undefeated. 10 and 0. Hillgrove comes into the game 8 and 2. Big number 68 comes into the game. That's going to be Richardson. Or Richards, excuse me. Number seven is your quarterback now for the East Paulding Raiders. That's going to be Morris. Morris is going to hand off to number 21 for the Raiders. Trey. Trey Hales. And Trey gets about about four or five yards on that carry. It will be second down and five for the East Paulding Raiders. Ball now rests on the 43-yard line. Make it the 48. The 48-yard line of Hillgrove. We'll give our cameraman some headphones so he can hear what's going on if he wants to hear. He'll mess up his hair. Can you hear? All right, 21 Hales going around the far side. Broke one tackle. He stiffed on the guy, number 23. Stiffed on him again. And finally, 23 went down to the ground and grabbed him by the ankles. That's going to be uh, for for the Hillgrove Hawks. Number 23 is going to be Walker. Also went on that stop I thought was number 30. But I don't have a number 30 on the roster. Make it number 60, Stone McKnight. That's going to be enough for a first down for the East Pauling Raiders. First and 10. The ball's on the 30, 34 yard line. First and 10 for the Raiders on the 34. All right. First and 10 for the Raiders on the 34 yard line. Number seven, Morris, your quarterback under center for the Raiders. Miles J. Morris as the East Party Raiders take a timeout to regroup. And that sounds like a good idea. All right, we have a score here, 21 to nothing. East Party Raiders over the Hillgrove Hawks in the second round of the playoff games. East Paulding once again comes into the game as uh, ten and zero. Hillgrove comes into the game eight and two. This is nine year old football, NWGYFL Northwest Georgia Youth Football League, nine year old game of the week. And it's been quite a ball game if you're an East Paulding Raider fan. Hillgrove got the opening kickoff, marched all the way down to the one yard line or so, tried to throw it in on fourth down. East Paulding intercepted in the end zone. And then they marched 80 yards down the field and got their first touchdown. Went for two, made it eight to nothing. A couple more touchdowns, and then we are here where we are now. 21 to nothing. East Paulding over the Hillgrove Hawks. We've got a sellout crowd here today. As the Raiders come back from the timeout, the Hillgrove Hawks have been sitting there waiting on them. Number seven, Jones, or make that Morris your quarterback. We got the wishbone formation in the backfield. Two halfbacks and a fullback. Morris your quarterback. He's going to hand off to 21. No, he's going to keep it. Coming around the near side, and he is putting on some moves. Broke two tackles. Finally brought down by the third tackle, Jones. Brought down by number four, Thomas. He lost a little bit of yardage on that play, so now it's going to be second down. And maybe 16 for the East Paulding Raiders. End of the game comes big number 72, Malik Stevens. 33 comes out for a breather, Tyler Barnett. He's parting on top of this game, 21 to nothing. Second round of the playoffs, nine-year-old football, NWGYFL, game of the week. He's parting Raiders as Morris brings the play in from the sidelines, got his team in the huddle. Breaking the huddle is the tallest guy on the field, it seems. Jet Jones, the center. Next to him. One of the biggest kids on the field, Tommy Lau. Tommy is a great little athlete and a great little kid. Morris, your quarterback. We got a eye formation slanted right. Back to throw is number seven, and it's going to be almost intercepted by Hillgrove Hawks, number 23 on the almost interception, Travaris Walker. And Morris was hit right as he threw the ball. He's going to be down. I think that he may have just gotten the wind knocked out of him. 
He's the passing quarterback. As we have an official timeout now to check on Morris, who have to come out of the game for at least one play. Morris uh, was hit as he throws the ball. Now we have Coach Jones in the kneeling position with Morris, checking on him. We're going to get him off the field for one play as he gets a nice round of applause from these Raider fans and also the Hillgrove team giving a nice round of applause for the East Paulding Raider number seven, Morris. Underwood comes into the game for the Raiders, number 25. Also into the game, big number 52, Wester. Number 21 for the Raiders coming out for a breather, Trey Hales. Twenty-one to nothing. East Paulding Raiders over the Hillgrove Hawks. We're in the third quarter. I would guess we got about four or five minutes left in the third quarter. Number two, Skylar Melton, your quarterback under center. Shabazz, Deuce in the backfield. Also, the handoff goes to Warner, number twenty-seven. Warren is number twenty-seven, and he may be down to about a twelve-yard gain or so. Not quite enough for the first down. Nice run by Warren. As the chain guy goes down, and now it's going to be fourth down and about three. Fourth and three for the East Parting Raiders. I say go for it. They've had very success, very much success in running the ball today. Your right guard is Connor Vaughn. I think I'd run right over there where he is. Oh, we got a movement. As I talked about Connor Vaughn, he moved a little too early to take out that nose guard, and it's going to come back, and now it's going to be fourth down and... Fourth down and seven, maybe eight. Fourth and eight for the Raiders. Connor Vaughn got a little eager start. Fourth and eight. There's a big gap between the defensive nose guard and the defensive left tackle. You got the left tackle playing in front of Tommy Lau and the nose guard playing in front of Jet Jones. And you got the offensive guard, Connor Vaughn. Looks like he was making a move to hit that nose guard, and Tommy Lau is going to handle his man to open up that right side of the line straight up the middle. Now we got the trips out to the right. Melton's back to pass. He's running. He don't have a man, and he's going to be hit for a loss, and it will go over in downs. The East Parting Raider fans wanted a flag, didn't get it. So now it's going over in downs, first and 10 Hillgrove on the 34-yard line. Hillgrove Hawks take over on downs on the 34. Ball boy comes in to give the official the new Hillgrove ball. That was a nice defensive play by the Hillgrove Hawks to stop the East Paulding Raider fourth down conversion. The fans are hollering for the ball back. Big number 68 for the Hillgrove Hawks. Richards breaks the huddle as the center. We have number four in a shotgun formation, Thomas. They got that crazy shift movement on the offense. They've got four wideouts to the right, one wideout to the left. Thomas, your quarterback, he's a runner, and he's going to the right. He takes off around the far side, and Connor Thomas is brought down by number 31 for the East Parting Raiders, and that's going to be Shambliss. They call him Chaz. And at some point in time, the Hillgrove Hawks are going to have to understand they're not doing a very successful job on running the ball to the right side of the line. They are two stacked over there. You got Shambliss. And you got a few other people over there that's just blocking that right side of the line. We have Thomas down. He's got an injury to what appears to be a shin. Right where his foot goes into his shin, right in that little tender area. Thomas is talking about it with his coaches and his trainer and team mom. He's going to get up and walk off on his own. He's going to get a round of applause from the 7,000-plus people in attendance of today's game. We have double change to go, so that means it's more than 10 yards for the Hillgrove Hawks. Second down and 11. I'd be willing to bet this time that the Hillgrove Hawks come around to the near side of us, which would be the left side of their line, and now we're going to have a timeout. Timeout, Hillgrove. As the East Party coaches holler, what a, what a, what a. 
They want to talk about it. We're going to have second down and 11. We have another great game coming up after this game. A D2 game. Nine-year-old East Pauling Raider D2 teams playing each other. The winner will go to the Stars and Strikes Bowl. The D2 Super Bowl. Stars and Strikes Bowl game next Saturday. And we'll be there all week next Saturday bringing you the games. To the best we can with playing on two fields next Saturday at the Ackworth Warrior Complex. So if you get a chance you want to come watch some good football, come check out the D2 Stars and Strikes Super Bowl next Saturday. Those games will get started about 9 o'clock in the morning. Can't wait for that. Long night at work and early football. I guess uh, should be happy with that. All right, Hillgrove is set. The officials are waiting for East Paulding to come back on the field, and here they come. Andres Keaton, number two, your quarterback. Looks like he'll be under center, at least until they do another shift. We got dupes out to the right, one out to the left. Man in motion left, Copeland going to the left. He gets the ball going on the far side, and sooner or later, as I mentioned, Hillgrove will figure out that's not the way they want to run the ball. Brought down by big number 72 for the East Pauling Raiders. That's going to be Stevens. Also over there we had number 31, Chaz. They call him Chaz for Charles. Chambliss, 31. That's going to be the end of the third quarter with your score. East Pauling Raiders, 21. And the Hillgrove Hawks, 0. On a NWG YFL 9-year-old football game of the week. East Pauling Raiders came into the game 10-0. and Hillgrove came into the game 8-0, eight and 8-2, eight and two, excuse me. And if things go the way they're going right now, East Parting will be 11-0. and 0. And there's another game going on today about 3 o'clock or make it 5 o'clock today at the Hiram Complex. Hiram Hornets also undefeated with a 10-0 and 0 record. They'll be playing South Cherokee today. The winner of that game will play the winner of this game next week. That's going to be a game that would many people would say should be our Super Bowl game. But the way that the regions and the, the, the league lines up, one of the two best teams in the league will knock each other out, it looks like, next Saturday if Hiram goes on to win their game today with South Cherokee. Looks like if we keep on pace the way we're going right now, that East Paulding will be winning this game. Right now it's 21 to nothing with 10 minutes left to play. Raiders are hustling out on the field. It don't appear that anybody's letting up. First and ten. We'll make it uh, third down and 11. Uh, Hillgrove's got the football, third and 11, and it looks like it's going to be just short of the 33-yard line. Hillgrove's ball, another conversion. They've been unsuccessful today on their conversions. Andres Keaton, your quarterback. And he's dropped in the backfield flag on the play, coupled by balls recovered by Shambliss, Chaz. And we'll just wait and see how the officials sort this one out. Looks like the center put the ball up into the chest of Andres Keaton. It's holding on, holding on Hillgrove. If they decline it, is that going to be Hill, uh, East Paulding's ball? Holding on the Hillgrove, Hillgrove decline. They're going to replay fourth down. So now it's going to be fourth down and 14. And Hillgrove's going to do this punt again. The last two times they've done this, it was a fake punt. They wanted to get the ball in number 11's hands, and he took off with it. It went nowhere, thanks to Connor Vaughn. So we have number 11, Corbin Waldrop. I'll take that back. Number 11 is going to be Jawan Garner punting for the Hawks. And back deep is Warren, number 27 for the East Pauling Raiders. And here's the snap. He's going to kick it this time. It goes about 10 yards. It's going to hit, and it's going to take a Hill Grove roll. And the ball is going to land just short of the 50-yard line where it is down by number 2, Keaton, for the Hawks. So Andres Keaton, your quarterback, your special teams man, and pretty much your all-around athlete for the Hillgrove Hawks. Grew up and played his sports for the last three years at the Fair Oaks Lobos. 
and moved over to the Hillgrove Hawks after the Fair Oaks Lobos took a year off. First and ten, East Potting. We're in the fourth quarter, 21 to nothing. East Potting over the Hillgrove Hawks, NWG YFL football game of the week. Ball's on the Hillgrove 49-yard line as East Potting breaks the huddle. Big man, Jet Jones, number 30, your center. We're going to have a flag on the play. I believe the huddle broke with too many people on the field for the Raiders. He can't break the huddle with 12 guys. There's only 10 players on the field is why the flag is going to be waved off. The huddle broke with 11 players. One kid ran off the field. So if he would have been the 11th player to make the 12th player, that would have been a penalty, breaking the huddle with 11 players, but that didn't happen. So shotgun formation, number seven, Morris, quarterback. He's going to hand the ball off. No, he's going to keep it. He's going up the middle, and he's going to be hit by Love. Love makes the initial hit on number seven, Morris, and he's going to gain about four yards with extra effort. Also in on that play for Hillgrove is number 15, Love. Also big man, 22, McCade. East Pauldin's uh, got the ball on the 46-yard line, second down and six for the Raiders. Leading the game, 21 to nothing, second round of the playoff games. The winner here has got a tough game next week with Hiram Hornets. This stadium is full of Hiram Hornets watching this game. They don't play till 5 o'clock today. Morris, your quarterback. Shabazz, Deuce in the backfield with him. Melton goes in motion right. Morris follows him. He's going around the far side. Morris is going to be stiff-armed, and he breaks the tackle on number 11, Thomas. Make that Garner, number 11. And they lost a couple of yards. It's going to be third down and nine. Third and nine for the East Paulding Raiders. Big 52 Wester comes in getting high five from his teammates. Also coming back into the game, Warren. Eason, team captain, comes into the game. They got something planned here. Looks like Eason's coming into the game to take care of some lineman business. Jet Jones, number 30, your center. Big man. Looks like we have a Morris is under center, number seven. Got two guys in the backfield. He's going to hand off an end around to number 25, Underwood. Cuts up the middle. Hit by number 60. Also in on the tackle, number 15, Love. And number two for Hillgrove is going to be Keaton. Initial hit by number 60, Stone McKnight. And they gained about Back to the other line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down and six. Fourth down and a long six for the East Party Raiders. We have an injured player for the Hillgrove Hawks. We've got the same care crew coming out to take care of him as Andre Keaton is out there giving his players a little pep talk. Andre Keaton, great football coach, nice man. I like him a lot more when he buys me lunch, but... That's okay. He's still a good man. Number 11 for the Hillgrove Hawks, Garner, going off the field under his own power. Got a little little injury on the foot. Earlier he had an injury on his bottom shin, the bottom of his shin. So not looks like this time he might be holding his knee. Fourth down and six for the East Parting Raiders. The ball's on the 45-yard line. 45-yard line of the Hillgrove Hawks. <coughs> Hater, uh, Raiders break the huddle. Under center is Morris, number seven. Deuce, Chavez, the second in the backfield. He's going to get the handoff on the end around, coming around Underwood. And he stiffs on one guy, breaks that tackle, stiffs on two guys, breaks that tackle. And he broke tackle number 32 for the Hillgrove Hawks, Worthy. And he was finally brought out of bounds by McKnight. Stone McKnight, number 60, finally held on and brought him down. Is this going to be fourth down? No, he got it. First down for the... It's actually turned over on downs. First down for Hillgrove Hawks. Nice stop by the Hawks. They let him get nine and a half yards or so. They needed nine and a half. They stopped him about nine yards. So it's going to be ball over on downs for the Hillgrove Hawks. Nice stop for the Hawks. First and ten on the 40. 
they're on 40. They got a long way to go. Started off the ball game with an 80 yard drive. Got down to the four yard line, threw an interception in the end zone, and East Paulding got the ball on their 20. Marched back 80 yards and got the first points of the game. Now we have 21 to nothing, East Paulding over Hillgrove. Nine year old NWGYFL football game of the week. Jeff Harper's doing some production work with us. Appreciate that. Makes it a little easier. Shotgun formation, Andres Keaton, quarterback, going around the far side. He's going to throw the ball. Left-handed throwing quarterback. He's got a man open, and it's going to be incomplete. Pass intended to number 23 for the Hawks, Walker. Just couldn't get there in time. It looked like it was a little bit short on him, and Walker tried just couldn't get it. Andres Keaton, left-handed running, throwing quarterback. I didn't know he was left-handed. I knew his dad was left-footed. Has a hard time walking around. Really has a hard time dancing. What his wife tells me. So, It's going to be second down and ten for the Hillgrove Hawks. Got a new quarterback in. Looks like number 11 is going to be Garner. We got a flag on the play. Like he don't have his mouthpiece in. One warning. All right. I think that's a mouthpiece infraction. Got another quarterback out there, big number 12. He's the passing quarterback, and he don't have anywhere to pass to. Number 12 is Pauser, and he is brought down by a whole bunch of Raiders, including number one, Eisler. Also back there, we got big number 34, Connor Vaughn, and also number six, made sure nothing developed on that play, Jack Eason. All right, third down and 14, maybe 13 for the Hillgrove Hawks. They've been in this situation all day. Other than the opening drive, they've had lost yardage and long yardage on third and fourth down conversions. I don't think they've been successful yet on converting one of these third or fourth down conversions, but they've tried hard, had one couple of punt formations. They faked those. The last punt formation, they did kick it about 10 yards or so, took a nice Hillgrove bounce. As both teams are talking about this, third down and long for the Hillgrove Hawks on the NWGYFL football game of the week. Twenty-one to nothing. East Paulding over Hillgrove. East Paulding comes into the game ten and zero. Hillgrove comes into this game eight and two. The winner of this game goes on next week to play the winner of the. Hiram Hornets and the South Cherokee Redskins game that will be coming up today at 5 o'clock. We're not going to be bringing you that game today, but we'll probably try and bring you the D2 Super Bowl next Saturday from Ackworth, Georgia. And one of these two teams, East Paulding Raiders or the Hiram Hornets, will be in that D1 Super Bowl held on November 17th. We will bring you that game as well. All right, we got a shotgun formation. We got that. Crazy shift going on for the offense. I call it crazy because it's very well organized and confuses me, but these players execute it real well. Nice coaching job on the offense. Tackle broke by number 20 for the Raiders. Number 11 is a ball carrier. He's going to have enough for about 13 yards, but it will not be enough for a first down, so it's going to be fourth down and two for the Hillgrove Hawks. Number 11 will on the carry. For the Hillgrove Hawks, he's been a workhorse today, Garner. He's been down for a couple injuries, leg injuries, but it didn't show at that time. We'll call it fourth and three and a half, maybe four. The Hillgrove Hawks trying another fourth down conversion. So far, they are 0 for 4 of those today. And then they've had one uh, one successful punt. All right, Andres Keaton, your quarterback. We got the wishbone formation. Now it shifts into a shotgun formation. 
heavy off-balanced offense to the left. Whoop. Number 11, Garner, a little eager to get going there. Jumped up and moved and couldn't figure out why nobody else was moving. He jumped up and moved around, and he's like, wait a minute. Nobody else is going anywhere. And then he realized he did something wrong. That happens. So it's going to be now fourth down and nine. Fourth and eight. Fourth and long seven for the Hill Grove Hawks on this fourth down conversion. 21 to nothing. East Paulding Raiders over the Hill Grove Hawks NWG YFL football game of the week. Nine-year-old football. Raiders undefeated. 10 and 0. Hill Grove 8 and 2. Winner of this game goes on to the next round of the playoffs. The losers had a great season. 21 to nothing right now. East Paulding over Hill Grove. Hill Grove's been a great football team all year. We have a off-balanced offense to the left side, way out there. We got four to the left, one out to the right. Number 11, Garner, your quarterback in the shotgun formation. Here's the center. He's going to step back, and he wants to throw it, but he is he is broken one tackle. He's going to break two, three tackles, breaking four. He did a nice little roll on the 45, finally brought down by number 27, Warren, for the Raiders. But hang on a minute. We got a flag on the play. We have a false start on the offense. It's all coming back. It's going to make it fourth down now and maybe 14. Or fourth and 12. It's going to be fourth and 12 now for the Hill Grove Hawks. We maybe go to a punt, but uh, we're at the point of the game where they're not going to punt. They don't want to get the ball back. Either way, they want to keep the ball and try to make something out of nothing right now for the Hill Grove Hawks. Jeff Harper doing our camera work for us. Harkins. I knew I was saying it wrong. I wanted to make sure he knew his name after last night. (laughs) Jeff Harkins. Doing a great job. Doing a great job. Nice tan. Wife's got a tanning salon. Business is good this time of year. I think the tanning business is really in March. People are getting ready for the summertime. What's the name of that tanning salon? Afterglow. Up there at uh, 120 in Macklin. Lost Mountain of Publix. Go check them out. Tell them you heard Jeff Harkins uh, on the radio talking about him. We would show you his tan, but don't need to do that. we got a G-rated audience. we got a reverse... Number 20, Copeland, is coming around on the reverse, brought down by the man, Connor Vaughn. And the ball is going over on downs. He's potting ball first down. Three minutes and 50 seconds left in the ball game, 21 to nothing. I would think it's going to be safe to say that East Potting has wrapped this game up. Second round of the playoff game. 21 to nothing, East Potting. With the football on the 45 of Hillgrove. Make it the 40 of Hillgrove. Jeff, they did a really good job lining this field today for the game. Nice white lines out there. Bright numbers. Skylar Melton, your quarterback under center. Shabazz Deuce in the backfield by himself. Hand off to Walker going on the end of the round. Walker's got plenty of running room. He's going to be gone. Walker's down. He's, He's got one man to beat, and the man takes advantage of that and brings him down. Walker went around and got about 20 yards, 30 yards on that play. Finally brought down by number 13, I believe, for, or make it uh, 33, Barnett for Hillgrove. I believe saved that touchdown. Now that's 23 for Hillgrove. Something three. Walker. So Walker saved the touchdown we got about three minutes left in the ball game. It's going to be first and ten on the 12. First and ten on the 12. East Parting has room to get another first down. Skylar Melton, your quarterback under center. Shabazz Deuce in the backfield by himself. And it's going to be another end around fake. And it's going to be handed off to 27. Where did he come from? Okay, looked like 27 was on the line. We had a handoff on the end around fake. And then turned around, the quarterback did Melton, and handed off to the guard, it looked like, on a guard around. I don't know what happened on that, but it worked. 
So it's going to be first down and goal on the one. I don't know what you call that. I don't know if they knew what they were doing, but it worked, so we're going to assume it was a planned play. Not sure about that one, but it worked. It got him about 11 yards. First down and goal on the one. East Paulding Raiders on a end around reverse handoff to the guard. Get 11 yards play. And that's what they did. Skylar Melton, your quarterback. It looks like he's going to be under center again as the officials uh, now put the ball in play. Yep, Melton, your quarterback. Deuce Shabazz, the second in the backfield. He's getting the ball. He's going around the far side. Kind of up the middle, but not, and he gets a touchdown. East Paulding, 26. Make that 27 now. Hillgrove, zero. Not many people in these 7,000 fans are clapping for the Raiders, but uh, they did a great job on that drive. 27 to nothing. I guess that was the extra point attempt. Okay, so now it's 28 to nothing. Man, that play had me all confused, Jeff. 28 to nothing. Don't really know about that. 28 to nothing. He's potting over to Hiram. I'll make it the Hillgrove Hawks. Connor Vaughn, number 34, your kicker, coming out again to do his thing. Connor Vaughn's worked hard today. Been playing great on defense, playing great on kickoffs. Had him a touchdown run. All right, we are set. Connor Vaughn's going to kick the ball. Looks like coming to the near side. We got Keaton over here. Number two, Keaton. Make sure that if he does an onside kick on this side, we got some good hands there to recover that. We also got 19, Parker. 23, Walker on this near side of the field where it appears. Now we've got another kicker going to the other side. Connor Vaughn sets it up like he's going to kick to this side. Steps back, and number eight runs up and kicks it to the other side. That's going to be Nitro. Nitro Acre. They had an off-balance receiving team because it appeared that Connor Vaughn was going to do a kick to the left side of the field. And then as he got the ball set and stepped back, number eight ran up and kicked the ball to the other side of the field. Hillgrove recovered it. That was a nice kickoff play for the East Paulding Raiders. It's going to be first and 10 Hillgrove on the 36, 37 yard line. Game's almost over, 28 to nothing Raiders. All right, we're going to have that shift on the offense again, and here it goes. Number 11, Garner, your quarterback, steps back. We got an overloaded offense on the right hand side. Wide out to the right. Three back men on the right-hand side. Here's the snap shotgun formation. Garner's got the ball. He wants to throw it, but it's not going to happen because Connor Vaughn is right there. Connor Vaughn's there. Also big number 31's there for the East Paulding Raiders. Make that scratch that. It's not Connor Vaughn. It's number 31 for the Raiders. That's going to be Chaz in on that stop. Chaz was in the backfield and stopped that play before it went anywhere. We lost about eight yards on that. If you're a Hillgrove fan, it's going to be second down and, and 18. We'll call it seven, second down and 15 as Shamless is getting his hand looked at on the sidelines. We got Beth Jones up in the press box today coming up to get a, a press pass view of the game. Second down and 14, snap to Keaton. And we got flags everywhere. Looks like we're going to have false start on the offense, and it's going to be backed up five more yards. That's going to make it second down and about 20. Second and 20. Actually, it's going. What? we had one official call a false start, and the other official called approachment. So I guess the other one with approachment overruled him. Whitecaps, the only one that matters. The line judge on the far side said false start. And the other line judge said encroachment on the defense, so he won. I guess he has a little more seniority. 
All right. Second down and 11 for the Hillgrove Hawks, losing 28 to nothing. Andres Keaton, your quarterback, puts his man in motion. He's going to hand off to him. Number 23 is hitting the backfield and broke that tackle by number two, Melton. He's broken another tackle. Nice block by number one. Turned his man around and got him off balance. Number 23 still breaking tackles and finally brought down by number two, Skylar Melton. Also in on that play to help make sure that nothing else developed was big number 52. I believe it was for the East Pauling Raiders, Wester. And they only got a few yardage on that play. It's going to be third down and five, maybe third and six. Third and six maybe for the Hillgrove Hawks. The game's almost over, 28 to nothing. East Paulding Raiders will remain undefeated. Hillgrove Hawks will finish their season with an eight and three record, including playoff games. Clock still running. We can't see the clock, so we're just guesstimating on time. It's going to be a stacked offense to the left side. Andres Keaton, your quarterback, going to get the ball. He wants to throw it, but not much there for him. It could be maybe intentional grounding just to get rid of the ball, but they're not calling that. So, yep, there it is there now, intentional grounding on uh, on the Hillgrove Hawks. Not a very, not a very uh, organized play for the Hawks, but sometimes you'd rather do that and lose five than lose 20. Intentional grounding, Andres Keaton, great little ball players, had a great ball game today. Played hard all year long. Unfortunately, today is not the Hillgrove Hawks day. As the East Pauling Raiders seem like they will remain undefeated late in the fourth quarter, 28 to nothing, Hillgrove. I make that East Pauling over Hillgrove. And the Raiders will be playing the winner of the Hiram Hornets or the South Cherokee game coming up today at 5 o'clock. They'll play them next week. Here's the official call. Intentional grounding on the offense. Going to be fourth down. That's a 15-yard penalty. They had two penalties on that play. Not sure what the second one was. All right. Fourth down and as long as it takes to get back to the Hillgrove field for their first down. Fourth and long. They're going to have to go for it. They don't want to turn the ball back over. They need to try to get something going for them quick, like four times. Here's the snap to number 15 now, new quarterback for Hillgrove, Love. Love's got broke one tackle, and he is finally brought down by number two, Skylar Melton. And it's going to go over on downs. It's going to be East Pauling ball, first and ten on the 28. So first and 10, East Paulding on the 28. Everyone's waiting on the chain crews to move. There they go. So time's running down. We got just a. We have 11 seconds left in the ball game as East Paulding will remain undefeated. 28 to nothing, East Paulding Raiders right now over the Hillgrove Hawks. East Paulding is going to remain undefeated. They'll go to 11 and 0. Hillgrove will drop down to 8 and 3. Hillgrove season will conclude in 11 more seconds. It's been a great run for them. 11-year-old team's done a great job over at the, uh, for the high school for the, for the Junior Hawks. But this will be a one-play ball game as we're going to take a, kneel, a knee here for Melton, I believe. Mel- Melton knees the ball. It's going to be down. Clock's going to run out. East Pauling Raiders will be undefeated going into another round of playoff next week against the Hiram Hornets. Or the South Cherokee Redskins, depending on who wins that game today at 5 o'clock. Ball game over. East Paulding, 28. Hillgrove Hawks, 0. Nice season for the Hawks. Tough game today. Tough team playing the East Paulding Raiders. And that will be the end of the ball game. As a big smile on the coach of Jonathan Jones telling his team, great job. Everybody's getting high fives. A lot of love going around the East Paulding Dome today. As the East Paulding 9-year-old Raiders win this NWGYFL football game of the week. 28 to nothing. And they will move on to the next round of playoffs next week in the NWGYFL. Northwest Georgia Youth Football League. Check us out. NWGYFLfan.com for the game of the week. Thanks a lot, Jeff Harkins. Running the camera for us, and we will see you. I guess you'll do some filming for the next game and let us know who wins that. He'll do it. All right. Have a good day. See you next time on the NWGYFL football game of the week.